Removing and Replacing Parts HP Elite Desk 700G1 Microtower PC Tools you need To remove and replace parts in this device, you should ideally have the following tools on hand. An anti-static wrist strap A Phillips screwdriver A flat-bladed pry tool Long nose pliers A flathead screwdriver a torque screwdriver, a triangular pry tool, a pair of tweezers, thermal grease and cleaning alcohol, a suction cup, a cuticle stick, a sim tray eject pin. How to replace the access panel. Removal. To remove the access panel, grasp the handle on the side of the panel and pull slightly to the rear. Remove the panel from the unit. Replacement The access panel has several tabs on its top, bottom, and leading edges, which fit into slots. and over the front lip of the PC. There is also a small slot on the rear of the panel that a lock slot on the PC slides into. To reattach the panel, align the tabs on the panel over the corresponding slots on the PC. Slide the panel forward until the lock at the slot of the rear of the PC is fully through the small slot on the rear of the panel. How to replace the expansion cards. Removal. To remove an expansion card if present in the unit, first remove the access panel. Remove any external connectors from the expansion card, such as wireless antennas. Lift the latch for the expansion card's retaining bracket and swing the bracket out. Carefully pull out the expansion card. Replacement To replace an expansion card, carefully align and push the card into its slot on the motherboard until it is fully seated. Make sure any connectors are not pinched under the card. Rotate the expansion card's retaining bracket back into place to secure the card. Attach any external connectors if necessary, such as external wireless antennas. How to replace the system memory. Removal. To replace system memory, first remove the access panel. Simultaneously push down on the clips on either side of the DDR3 dim socket to release the memory module. Carefully pull out the memory module. Replacement. There is one notch on the bottom of every DDR3 DIMM module, offset from the center, that fits over a tab in the DDR3 DIMM memory socket. When installing DDR3 DIMMs, align the notch on the module with the tab in the socket. Press the module into the socket until the clips on both sides of the socket lock into place. How to replace the hard drive. Removal. To remove the hard drive, first remove the access panel. Detach the power and data connectors from the rear of the drive. Pull out on the green drive release latch and slide the hard drive out of the drive bay. Replacement. If installing a new 3.5-inch hard drive or a 2.5-inch drive in an adapter bracket, 
detach the four guide screws from the old hard drive, or drive assembly, two on each side, and install them on the sides of the new drive, or drive assembly. Additional guide screws can also be found at the side of the hard drive bay, inside the PC, for an expansion hard drive. Slide the drive, or drive assembly, upside down into the drive bay until it snaps into place. Connect the power and data connectors to the hard drive. How to replace the front bezel. Removal. To remove the front bezel, first remove the access panel. Unlatch the three side tabs of the front bezel. and rotate the bezel away from the PC. Replacement. The front bezel has three tabs on each side. Which fit into six slots on the PC. To replace the front bezel, align the tabs on the right side of the bezel into the slots on the PC, then rotate the bezel into position. Snap it firmly into place. How to replace the optical drive? Removal. To remove the optical drive, First, remove the access panel and the front bezel. Detach the power and data cables from the back of the drive. Push up on the green drive release latch at the bottom of the drive and slide the drive out of the front of the drive bay. Pull the green drive release latch off of the optical drive. Replacement. To replace the optical drive, first attach the green drive release latch to the drive. There are two small pins on the latch that fit into two small holes on the side of the optical drive. Press the pins into their holes to secure the latch. Slide the drive into its drive bay through the front of the PC until the green release latch snaps into place. Replace the power and data connectors to the drive. Find more helpful videos on our HP Support YouTube channel.